Hello again, this is Priscilla Batzel in Spring Hill, Florida, Expressionist Art Studio Gallery. And I have an 18 by 24 inch canvas and some glasses I'm going to put on my face. And I think I'm going to give myself some black at the top and the bottom. And down the sides. And maybe in the middle and see how far that goes. I'm going to try and make this a little quick. Oh, I forgot to clean my... There's my new swipe card. Hang on, I'll be right back. I need to dry it off. I made it with a wide, big curve, a medium size curve, huge, medium, small, and tiny areas to pull on things. So this is my AXO omelet turning spatula. I think it's the world's greatest paint spreading, arguably the world's greatest paint spreading tool. And it is available uh, under the link tree, under the video. There's an Amazon link. If you shop there, it's at no added cost to you and it helps me out. And these are a fabulous tool to own. I'm going to take that dish of rags out of that place because maybe then they can swivel. Maybe I can't. I'll, I'll just try. <laughs> it's, a, it's a rather large canvas for the amount of space I've allowed myself to work in. But I just grabbed a little folding table the other day, so I'm kind of hoping that I can reimagine my space to work on some larger pieces here fairly shortly cross my fingers well my fairly shortly and your fairly shortly are going to be kind of different because i've got a lot of videos posted ahead we were hoping we were going to be able to take a trip at some point in time but COVID is kind of being a little uncooperative <laughs> for most of us oh gosh i'm doing what i always like to do i love to make patterns in my black paint on a white canvas just so much fun. There, painting's all done. <laughs> fun, fun, fun. So hopefully you can see most of what I'm doing and it's just spreading around as much of that paint as I can get. I will be adding more paint for sure, but I want a semi base layer and I don't know that I want it all black. So I'm doing something unusual the way that I'm priming the canvas. And I'm priming the canvas to help other paint move and sell. Black often is a catalyst for helping other paint sell. The only reason my, my canvas fits on this turntable is because there's a stretcher bar down the middle of the back, which is one reason I love this size. But basically, this is just a great size. And since I'm indoors instead of outdoors where I used to be, my paint will assumably not dry quite so fast, although I do have a fan going, and it is a pretty thin layer of paint, which means that I'm just going to give myself permission pretty darn quick to do whatever comes naturally and there are not going to be a ton of plans as far as how this works out. I do want it to be a swipe. I do want to put colors where I want them. I will keep knocking into that box. I think I'm going to take my cue from wherever the spaces are. First I'm going to use my finger and run it down the edge everywhere I see. And then I'm going to try and wipe that off on my paint clothes. <laughs> okay, so that was a lot of talking and a lot of smearing of black paint and not a lot of else, anything else really satisfying happening. Need puddles of paint to make things really work. So I'm going to give myself puddles of paint. This is a Decor at Americana 24 karat gold, and I'm running low because I tried to buy some and I couldn't. Let's just give it a minute to spread around, shall we? Just because we can. That's the name of my first book. It's on the Amazon link. It's called Because I Can. Volume 1. Volume 2 is... Brain Cramp. <laughs> Unlimited Possibilities. And uh, that is probably my guess that I expected to come. So I'm going to just, oh, I think I'm going to grab whatever's open. And all my, mm, all my favorite colors closed. That's Floetrol. We're going to use a little red today. And a little, a little orange in a couple places. I really want to just get so far outside my box 
and that's closed, so I'm going to use that wherever I feel like it. I'm going to hope that the black, even though the background isn't very heavy, that it's going to stay nice and thick. Well, nice and wet is more like it. So I'm just looking for my white, wet canvasy spots. And I'm kind of tempted to use the um, Venetian blue from Modern Masters because on heavier paint, it disappears. I'm almost done with this. That's cool. Well, there's, there's always more <laughs> that I want to get out of a bottle than I can actually get at any given moment. I think we're all the same in that. I'm going to close that up so I can clean it well later. I'm going to look at my colors and figure there's going to be a lot of swiping going on here. I hope that I like them and know that I can add more. I have covered a lot. Where's that blue I want? There we go. I think I want some more orange too. I'm going to put some Anita's White Metallic in here just because I know the black and the white pop cells. I think pretty much everything ought to pop cells though. And I'm going to put a little smattering of acrylic enamel all over everything. I don't have a ton of time because <laughs> I am expecting a guest and I want to be able to do this. Oh, I've got some leftover paint too. That might be kind of neat. Let's put a little bit more of this folk art color shifting orange in is in is mixed into the Decor Americana Gold. I don't think it matters so long as I like where it lands. Oh, here's the here's the color shifting orange, such as it is. This is actually a much nicer color than I usually think of it is because I'm always looking at it. Something about the plastic bottle changes the colors. I said I was going to put some of this white in there, so I will. It's funny, you know, as I, as I set up my colors and I'm just putting them down on the painting and I'm liking what I'm seeing, I'm like, I'm done. Cool. <laughs> but it's not true. So wish me luck. I could start in a very belligerent way and I'm going to use my spatula just because I can so let's move on from there take some of that paint and as soon as I get some nice marks and get my bottles out of the way once and for all keeping an eye out for anything that might be anomalous and not belong Whatever you are, you're a lump of something. That's the polite version of that. So I've got some great cells popping. And I'm just loving the rainbow effect of this. It's really cool. And it doesn't have to be rainbow everywhere. Matter of fact, if it was, it wouldn't be quite so interesting where it's not. And I still, I, I haven't really started doing what I, my plan was to use my little swipe card. And I may still do that. Very abstract. It's very cool too. I like it. It's it's making me happy. <laughs> it's really making me happy. She's just too happy. Somebody commit her. <laughs> I'd like to keep some of my black in there. I really, really would. It needs that rest area. Now I can look at it. Look at the colors in my dish. Aren't they nice? And I can throw another one of those little saucers right over the top of that. And make sure you guys know this. Just like this. And for, for a fairly long amount of time, I can come back. So I wanted to do some swiping and play with my basting brush. I think this is a great time to do that. Just add some texture because I can. And because I think you can too. You can use the side of your basic brush if you have a whole bunch of paint on there. You can use, you can pick up that paint and put it down somewhere else. This is just cool. 
This is art therapy. This is the bee's knees. This is fun. No, I'm not born in the 1920s, but whatever. Somebody is. I bet they had fun, too. I still haven't swiped. Maybe I'll look for the little missing spaces. I like the white in there, and I'm kind of feeling like I want some more. Maybe just a little, maybe a little drag. Just to see how that works. I like it. What fun. Now I'm thinking that blue. That blue is calling me. Where are you, blue? Where do we want it? Take some down here. And some up there. I'm going to grab, yeah, I'm going to use whatever's on there. And I want some more of my purple flash from Folk Art, which should be right in front of me, right there. Cool. I like that I used some red and that it melded pretty, pretty nicely. I like the pinks that are created in there. I like a lot of things about this. I like the accidental marks, although as I say that, I'm contemplating eradicating them. Sometimes I'll keep them. Okay, my company is here. So I will tell you guys, if you want to help me out, shop the Amazon link underneath show more under the video. There's a link tree, I think I mentioned that, where you can find my books, Pinterest, Instagram, Twitter links, Sachi Art if you're in Great Britain or Europe somewhere. Uh, if you ever have a request for anything that you'd like to see of mine of it made available to you, as a print, just please ask, and I will be more than happy to post it. It takes me about an hour to, to get something together, and if you email me at, at EASPB Gallery, the email address is right under the link tree, and I can email you back when I have the, uh, when I have the post up there. So if you share my videos, you help me out. If you watch them the moment that they come out, on, uh, that, they're, that you get notice, it's a huge help to me. That's what the YouTube algorithm reacts to. Is that I'm going to stop playing in this now. <laughs> I don't really have much choice. I'm going to throw this in the bucket. I'm going to torch. I'm going to tell you guys thank you for the thumbs up and all the contributions for the help keep me painting. Wait, wait, wait. I'm going to throw a little bit of black in these spots that I can see canvas. I never did use my little swipe tool. But I bet I could. And I want to see what happens. Especially right over some of those basting brush marks. And that's cool. A whole bunch of colors are exposed. I don't want to eradicate anything wonderful. And I kind of like what I have. But I'm also happy to use the, um, to use the residuals on the little card to fix my my canvas is showing edges. So this is Priscilla Batzel in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery with a guest at the door. And I will talk to you guys anon. If you want to help me out some more, look for PayPal or Patreon and you will get notified if you use them that you are included in this month's drawing, which will be this particular month on the 29th of August, but any given month you can see the exhibition video on the end screens and it will show you what that month's prizes are for people who enter the drawing. I love you guys. There's, I'm like 10 away from 89,000, which means at this point it might be closer than that. I might be over, but um, I love these cells and I love these colors and I love this size canvas and I love you guys. And I have over 1400 videos and you can find them on creative playlists on my YouTube channel and they are organized by genre, and by topic, and by the hundred. There might even be 1,500. Facebook groups underneath um, the link tree are Expressionist Art Studio Gallery Fans and Collectors, where you can look in the albums and see the artworks I've edited so far from, you, from the YouTube, excuse me, from the YouTube channel. Um, Expressionist Art Studio Gallery Totes and More has face masks and all kinds of other stuff. There's over 1,400 items there that I posted to fineartamericanpixels.com and there's a shop now button there that'll take you there. But that's also under the link tree. You can find Pinterest, Instagram, and Twitter links 
underneath the link tree. You can find Teespring clothing all over print leggings and t-shirts on the video, uh, excuse me, under the video. And my two books are on the Amazon link. I mentioned that already. I know I did. And um, thank you guys for everything. I really, really, really appreciate it. So keep up the good work and um, thank you for coming and I hope you come again and I will see you in on. Take care of each other. Take care of yourselves. And don't forget, skewers are the bomb. <laughs> I just had to have one skewer mark in there, right? Maybe two. So I'm good for now, and uh, hopefully so are you. I will see you, and hopefully you're still here, because I think my timer didn't get set. I love you, love you, love you lots. I want to go turn out the light, but <laughs> I really can't. This looks better here than it does for me on the camera, so I hope the thumbnail's more impressive than this is. I love you guys. See you, see you later. And on. Priscilla out.